Hello. I thought I'd make a video to remind myself and to show other people who might want to know uh, how to combine meshes um, and materials so that you can reduce draw calls. So if you look here, I have a water heater that is three separate static meshes and it has a number of textures here and three materials. So this is going to be three draw calls assuming that each mesh um, only has one material, right? So each of them only has one material. So you would ask, well, how do I combine these? Well, the first thing we want to do is combine the textures here. So I'm just going to go ahead and export all of them. Um, I'm going to ignore the emissive one for the moment. So I'm just going to save those. Now I'm going to open GIMP. So first, let's see, we're going to do diffuse, right? So if you look, these are all 2K textures. So let's make a 4K texture. that. So you can just control A, control C, and paste that here. And then you want to make sure that you put it pixel perfect in the top left corner, like that. And then you're going to apply, or anchor layer, sorry. So that is the hardware, right? So we're going to have hardware, tank, Sometimes you got to really get in there to make sure. Hardware, tank, then we're going to have vent. So let's go ahead and paste vent. Okay. So now that we've done that, we have a new diffuse image, right? Export that as T water heater D TGA. Right now, we can close all of those and do the same thing for the normal map. We got to make sure to keep the same orientation. Let's make a new 4096 again. Okay, um, in this case, I'm going to actually fill it with black to make sure I can see better. Like that. So, hardware goes in the top left. Tank goes to the top right. Now vent is going to go on the bottom left. Now we can save that. Actually, wait. So we got to paste um, into here in case we ever want to use this for something else that has no affected normal mat. The value for that would be 50, 50, 100 um, percent, <laughs> I guess, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.51, however you want to think of it in a linear space. So I will paint bucket that. There we go. All right. Let's export that as. T water heater in. Okay. Let's close all of those. And then finally, I've got my occlusion roughness metallic mask. Let's 
So let's make a new one for that. why but the top right one is always the most pain in the butt one for me it's like hard to get over there for some reason there you go okay now that we've done that Export that as T water heater ORM. Right. Okay, so now our images are combined. Uh, but let's remember it's uh, har hardware tank vent, right? I might as well just leave this open so that it's easy to look up. So I need to download my water heater model. Um, and then we can open that in Blender. So let's open that. Okay. So here's my combined versions of those. So back here, we started out with hardware, then tank, then vent. So here's hardware, right? So what we do is we go in here to UV editing, and here's the UVs for the hardware. Actually, it might be good to just show this so that I remember how to do this too. So let's go ahead and make actually, let's look at the material, right? So hardware, tank, vent. Since we're going to combine it into a new material, let's make a new material, right? Just for visualization in Blender so we can see this working. So let's make a new material. I'm just going to call it MI Water Heater because now all three will share the same material and we can combine them into one mesh right but don't do that yet because we're going to need to move their UVs to match up with how we move the textures right so let's go to here we'll do material preview go to shading so here's our water heater material let's go ahead and go back to our new maps that we just made and we can drag those in here so water heater D water heater N water heater or, or um, in fact we don't need any of these others just go ahead and delete those so if we look at water heater D that can go right up to base color right water heater N is a normal map so we're gonna have to do a vector normal map uh, and make sure to set the color space to non-color because a normal map is not color. And these ORM masks, we can add here a converter to separate the red, green, and blue out. Right. It's non-color. So red is a ambient occlusion, green is roughness, blue is metallic. So that's good enough to see what's happening. So if we go back here, you can see how our UVs are all wrong. So if we go here to UV editing, you can see now, what you want to do is set this um, scaling point to the 2D cursor. Select all, and then hit S, 0.5. So I just scaled them to a half. Now I'm going to move them, GY, 0.5. So now they're in the correct place for the hardware. If we look at material preview, the hardware is now correct. We go to the tank, edit its UVs, go A, 
S.5, GX.5, GY.5. Now those are in the right place. Right? And finally, the vent. We go A, S.5. It's already in the right location. So look, our UVs all got scaled and moved to where we moved our textures. And now this is looking really nice. Right? So we can get our world settings here and select some HDR and get set it up to render just to see it rendered like that. Change the samples. Now that water heater looks pretty great. So anyway, now that we know that that's good, we can go back here and combine these three into one, right? Hit Control J. Now we're ready to export it. Make sure to do the selected objects mesh. Make sure to go geometry, face smoothing, if you don't want Unreal to uh, warn you. I do that. Okay. Go back into Unreal here. And we can import our new water heater and our new water heater maps. I like to turn off generate to missing collision and I like to turn off generate light map UVs. I want to do that myself. So I'm going to duplicate one of these and just have a MI water heater. And now for our new water heater I'll select that material. Like that. You can see since I haven't fixed that material it's all off. So now we can go into the water heater and select the new maps that we just made. Make sure ORM is set to not sRGB. You could use masks if you want here. Otherwise, you'll have a sRGB conversion that you don't want. Okay, now our water heater is a singular mesh, singular singular material, singular draw call. And the textures have all been reduced. So that's how you do it. You just go into GIMP, combine your textures, go into Blender, uh, scale and move your UVs, but be sure to scale um, using the 2D cursor. If you scale using bounding box or medium point or something, you'll get weird, real weird results. It won't scale properly. Um, Thanks.